So for today, we're going to be looking at the Chroma Cloak stuff for the Hunters. If you guys don't know, we've already done the review video and the Shader video. They're both right here. You guys can check it out. Definitely some cool armor, I guess. Like, it visually looks cool. It just, there's a lot of things that I find annoying with the armor, which you guys will know if you guys watch the review video. Shader video, we go through all of the shaders that I currently own that are favorited because if I go through all of them, I legitimately fall asleep and it's a long ass video as well. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, it really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, like, comment, sub, hit the bell notification because that also does help. I also do apologize that I have not been I've not been keeping up to date with my content because uh, quite frankly, it's been really hard to be motivated to make content for Destiny 2 considering all of the layoffs, all of the negative things that have been coming out for Destiny 2, like no D3, um, all of the projects have been destroyed or uh, canceled, I should say. Uh, Luke Smith and the other dude being out of the, out of the game, uh, out of the company, which I know some people have some gripes with luke smith but he's brought us some dope content seeing him leave was pretty rough so overall i just really have not been in the mood to play destiny 2 nor make content for it but thankfully i'm back mentally in the game so i'm gonna start to post more content specifically a lot of armor stuff new exotics um the solstice armor which i still haven't decided whether or not i want to make the review video now or later because they are fixing an issue with it but we can talk about that later I appreciate you let's just get into it so to start off we're gonna be using the chroma cloak mask so this one is pretty interesting because i know a lot of people were, were probably gonna expect me to you do like a whole emo all black thing which i definitely could have done but because that was like the the like obvious thing to do i was like decide decided ah, i'm not gonna do that so instead of that i decided to go for an eastern fucking like representative type of thing i don't know where the hell, hell my head went for this one so yeah, uh, I'm using like in my head, we're using like Korean and like Japanese themes here, which is wild because I know Koreans would hate that. But yeah, let's just, let's just let me explain my thought process. So Imperial Cartographer is a piece that I use because in an older set that I made, it, it was mainly Japanese. It's not. It was only Japanese things in that one. Uh, I, I explained that I really like the Imperial Cartographer arms when I'm doing like a Eastern theme because it reminds me of um i don't know if they're japanese like specifically but like the eastern bow and arrow dudes where half of their like kimono is down and it's just showing like half of their like uh <clears throat> like literally half of their whole side is just their arm and the other side is like all like armored and whatnot that's kind of what it reminds me of which is why i used it in this one the chess piece which is the gwen's invest chess piece uh is specifically korean i know it's fucking korean and the forbidden visage honestly i really shouldn't explain but for those of you who don't know it's just like the cloth with the armor on the boots kind of reminds me like of a ninja and then the sunlight cloak is the only piece where i'm like this is not japanese or anything eastern in my in my opinion but it looked really good with this so for the shader and callus selected is what i used just because uh why not and i wanted a purple in there because obviously the helmet has purple glows and whatnot and yeah this one is weird i'm not gonna lie to you guys this one is super fucking weird but i still think it's decent i think i still think it looks pretty cool will i ever use this no specifically because i never use gwyn's invest i think gwyn's invest is part of the exotics that need a rework because it's absolutely terrible so yeah i really like this set that being said it's not one of the best it's not even in the top three because the other three are way better in my opinion but let me know what you guys think about this one as for the next set we're going to be using the girl falcon chest piece and this one is really really cool for the chroma cloak pieces we're going to be using the arms and the boots for the helmet superior visions cal is what we're using and then polar predators cloak for the shadering this is where it gets really cool because royal welcome we're using that instead of Braguzian knight because i don't like how Braguzian knight's uh, color theme goes with the chess piece or with the helmet and then the super black because i want the black in there to match with the Braguzian knight's black so overall i think this one is really really cool would i say my favorite probably not just because there's other pieces or other sets that i made that are really really cool but this is up there man like girl like as a girl falcon set i am happily adding this to my wardrobe like for real this actually does look really really cool as for the next set we're going to be using relativism for this one and for the chroma piece we're going to be using the chess piece so mask of trepidation the anthemic invocation of embraces and then the strides of the taking king is what we're going to be using unfortunately the only piece here that is 
uh, unobtainable currently will be the anthemic invocation Rembraces. this was from season of the wish which unfortunately you guys can't get this one anymore um and then the chroma cloak will be unobtainable on the next uh act i guess you yeah the next act would be when this one's un unobtainable so if you guys are watching this before act two definitely get this before it goes away because you might never know when it, it looks cool um and when i say that i specifically mean like always experiment with things that you think won't look bad because you might never know when a banger set comes out like some of these sets that i've made i'm like oh this looks kind of fire like specifically this whole set i think looks banger um try to take a king is from a dungeon so it's not gonna be hard to get it it's just gonna be annoying especially if you're doing it alone like i did but overall the reason we're, why we're using nebula rose and you will see this in other um other classes is the fact that it turns off everything so for the chess piece specifically chroma cloak uh, it has a like a rainbow glow underneath the armor and then the actual armor has a blue seal that's really annoying to turn off so nebula rose just turns off both of those at the same time my only gripe is i feel like nebula rose looks very gaudy which is why i'm not the biggest fan of this shader but again because it turns everything off i'm just kind of like hey man it looks good and it turns off the glows and turns off that blue steel so at the at this point i can't really bitch about it so let me know what you guys think about this one and then last but not least, we're going to be using the Beastly Visage ornament for the Mask of Bacchus, which I think this set looks amazing for the arms and the boots. We're going to be using the Spectral Displacer. And then for the chest piece, that anthemic, anthemic Invocation. And then the, or the cloak, we're going to be using the Chroma Cloak. So I definitely think this one looks amazing. Forbidden Wish is what we're using for the shadering, specifically because uh, the glow is purple. And if you guys don't know the Chroma Cloak, the specifically the cloak, uh, chroma cloak cape or whatever uh, the feathers on the sides heavily take purple sometimes so for me I was just like I'm just gonna nip this in the bud real fast and then just use purple for this so I think it looked really I think it came out really really good um, if there is something you would want to switch out it would probably be anthemic invocation especially if you don't have it that's not a big deal you could definitely use other pieces that look like organic looking um, the taken king chess piece would would be really good anything that looks hive will be really good just because it's gonna give off that like natural bone look which is what you're gonna want to get for this so overall i think these sets are really really cool i definitely think the first one is the weakest one for sure but i do think the last three or the three after that are amazing like legitimately some dope sets and i'm really excited to make some of these um do note that the third one which was the relativism ornament i think that one's gonna stay for the relativism uh, video because i still haven't done that one uh but i think that's th that's gonna stay there don't worry though you guys will get another set because it does have an ornament and i will make a new set for that one so let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys coming to this point um few things to know i am currently working on content even after we're done with the current content that i'm working on because um i'll just show you guys in the end right now these are all of the chroma cloak stuff that i'm doing so the hunter world titan and warlock and these are all of the exotics that we got so specifically balance of power hazardous propulsion wishful ignorance and then the new warlock ones as well because i was too lazy to name them so i'm currently working on all of this today and then after that i actually am done with hunt with destiny 2 technically and i say technically because i still have the solstice armor that i'm working on which I'm still deciding whether or not I just should just do the review with the white glow or not because Bungie did say in the in the TWAB that we can expect to get the base look of it and without the glow and then with the glow in collection. So I'm thinking to just do it now or later. Um, let me know what you guys think. Would you like to see it now or later? Because it, um, if we do it now, you guys will just see it with the white glow. But if we do it later. We'll, I'll do with with the white glow and without the white glow or just without the white glow because I don't really like the glow at all so or probably just showcase like the glow and whatnot but either way like I'm thinking about doing that uh, let me know what you guys would want to see because I personally would like to see uh, without the glow because I think the, without the glow they look beautiful so let me know what you guys think I appreciate y'all um I probably should know before I mention or before I forget um I am working on other content as well, specifically after we're done with all of the Destiny 2 content that I'm working on right now, I'm probably going to go into Final Fantasy 14 and just explain some of the fashion that I do. Nothing crazy, no editing, no crazy editing involved like how I usually do these where I showcase the like sets and then my my hunter like rotating. Nothing like that. I'm literally just going to go in game and just show you what I do because I feel like 
once I'm done, once I make that video, I'm going to be like, okay, like the perfect video is gone. I just need to start making. So that's kind of like where my head's at. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate y'all. I'll see you guys later.